Shana Toba, happy Yom Teruah and a very joyous Feast of Trumpets to you. Um, I am coming to you, actually I'm recording this on Friday evening, but you will be seeing this on Saturday morning. So um, something happened and we were going to have a big dinner and a bonfire and all this on Friday night. And then we were going to go do this little ceremony called Tashlik Saturday evening, which is actually would be tonight for you who's watching this um, but something happened it got like really nasty rainy and really cold so the bonfire thing couldn't happen okay, so now we have flipped it we went and did our tash tashlik ceremony yesterday Friday night and we're having our dinner tonight before Feast of Trumpets is actually over so now what this means for you is you will get a sneak peek of our tashlik ceremony and um, you can decide if maybe you want to do that too with your family. Now, the tashlik is not a commanded thing, it is a traditional thing. But wow, what a beautiful traditional thing it is and that's why we chose to do it. So what you're gonna need is some kind of body of water. You need some rocks or some pebbles. My kids were really little and so I just, I just used Micah 719. But here are some verses that you can use in your ceremony if you want to use any of these. There they are. You can use those in your ceremony. Um, so here is us doing our tashlik. Oh, this is a new river. Mm -hmm. You take your rock and you decide uh, something that you have struggled through the year. Everybody's got their rocks. Okay. Now we're going to think about that thing that we really struggle with this year, right? Think about it when you hold it in your hands. And you decide that this rock that you're holding in your hand is that sin that you struggle with. Our big things that we struggle with are like little teeny tiny rocks to God. And whenever we're ready to let it go, He's ready to forgive us for it and forget about it. You ready? So then you throw it into the water. If you got down in that water, do you think you could ever find that rock again? Even if you jumped right where it fell, do you think you could ever find that rock again? Down underneath all that? No, you can't. And that's what God thinks about our sin. Another thing that I just thought of yesterday too, um, I was talking to a friend actually, and I said, you know, we think that our struggles are so huge like mountains, but whenever God looks at them, they're just little tiny pebbles. And he's ready to forget about them as soon as we're ready to let them go. So um, that became a part of our little ceremony too our struggle that we had this year, we're going to leave it here. So a couple things before I quit. Um, one cool thing I heard about the Feast of Trumpets that I did not know. In the Bible, when it talks about the reign of a king in the Bible, like so-and-so reigned for this many years, they actually counted the reign of a king from the Feast of Trumpets to the next Feast of Trumpets. So even if he started to reign before the Feast of Trumpets, they didn't count the year until he went from a Feast of Trumpets, which is the start of the Jewish spiritual new year, to the next Feast of Trumpets. That's what counted as his year of reign, um, which is pretty cool because we are celebrating the coming reign of our King of Kings, Jesus, Yeshua. So that was a cool fact. I just learned. I just want to share it. Another thing is um, we are currently now officially in the 10 days of awe. So the first day was the Feast of Trumpets and now tonight will be the second day of all. And like I said, we were do we're gonna like going through Revelations tonight. We will be reading Revelation 6 through chapter 8, verse 6. So then at the end of the 10 days of all, the 10th day is the Day of Atonement. Something really cool happened to you that I, I forgot to mention. Friday's video was my 100th video. Yay! It's been a little over a year now, and wow, have I come a long way. So that's exciting, 100th video. This is the 101st video, and I'm going to end it here because I'm just rambling on and tell you happy Yom Teruah which is a happy piece of trumpets, and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.